My name is Robbie Meehan and I'm a geologist and along with a couple of colleagues, uh, other geologists with different areas of expertise, Matthew Parks, Vincent Gallagher and Ronan Hennessy, we are this summer, the summer of 2020, conducting a geological heritage audit of County Leitrim. Now what that means is there are a number of sites in Leitrim, about 40 or 50, that are specifically important because of the geology of the site and because of the features associated with that geology. And what we're doing is we're actually travelling around all the sites, we're examining them, looking at the condition of them, and we're going to rank them as to how important they are and whether or not they should be preserved or maybe promoted um, as part of the wider Leitrim landscape. So Leitrim has a number of different facets of its, of its geology that are important and we will be examining all of these as part of the study. So we're standing here at Glencar Waterfall and it's a stunning, beautiful spot. Glencar, the valley itself, is a deep valley with very steep and very high cliffs on either side. And anyone passing from Sligo into Leitrim or from Leitrim back into Sligo along the Glencar Valley will see that. They, you travel along the base of the valley with these high cliffs and escarpments either side. Now the valley itself, that valley, that deep channel, was gouged out by ice during the Ice Age, about 20,000 years ago. So it's a glacial valley. And that glacial valley, the depth of it is quite unique. But also, the fact that we have these really high cliffs and the fact that we're in an area of fairly high rainfall on the west coast of Ireland means that there are lots of streams flowing off the uplands nowadays into that valley. So there are a number of waterfalls along the valley side, on both sides, but one of the most spectacular is Glencar here. And that waterfall has been, has been heading down the valley for the last 18, 19,000 years as the streams on the uplands have flowed and cascaded across the cliffs on either side of the valley. At them, we, we examine the geology, so here you have a number of features, like you have the waterfall itself, you have beds of the geology that are visible, and you even have really recent features, there's what's called a tufa curtain there at the edge of the waterfall. Because the water is calcareous coming off the limestone, it's actually petrifying all the moss and the ferns and solidifying them at the edge of the waterfall itself. So you have a number of different geological kind of features here and they would all form part of the description of the site and that would then be ranked as county geological status or as an internationally important site or nationally important site or whatever the case may be. So, a lot of the study involves detailed examination, just depending on the, the size and the type of site, and then as well, lots of photographs, lots of to be able to illustrate within the report exactly what we're looking at. geology, it's defined as the study of the earth, the materials of which it's made, and the processes acting upon them. So obviously you're talking about rocks, and we have stunning exposures of rock around us here in the valley, in Glencar. But it's not just rocks alone, particularly in Ireland. If you think about everything under our feet, that's the earth, that's the process, process is acting um, on the materials of the earth. Everything under our feet in Ireland includes the soils, it includes the subsoils and it includes the bedrock. So we have in Ireland a multifaceted geology. We have soils geology, the variation in soil types across our landscape. We have subsoils geology which again is very, very markedly different depending on where you are in the country. And we have our bedrock geology, which is also very complex as places like this in Glencar, we've got limestone, but we've also got shale underneath the limestone outcropping in places at the edge of the valley. And as you move 
to the to the east here, if you go down towards Drumahair, for instance, you're into really old metamorphic rocks. And if you move into south Leitrim and central Leitrim, you're again into limestones, you're into shales, you're into grey wax, you're into old old rocks. So depending on where you are in the county, the soil geology, the subsoil geology, and the bedrock geology varies massively. So that's the study of the science itself, of geology. But what, what people also ask me is, why is it important? And when people think about geology, they think about people like myself with beards and glasses going around looking at fossils in stones. And that is a part of the study of geology itself. It's examining paleontology, the old fossils, the old life forms that are preserved within the rocks. And that's what actually tells us about the history of life on Earth and the history of the Earth itself. Going back into your thousands, your millions, your hundreds of millions of years. But geology is so important to us in terms of the natural resource contained within those rocks. And if you think about everyone gets up in the morning the first thing they do is they open up the curtains they look through a window that window has been made from silica sand which is sourced in the earth the house that they're living in is made from concrete or brick again sourced in the earth the majority of our raw materials even plastics come from hydrocarbons which come from oil which are related to and are derived from the geology even when you think about our modern conveniences, our mobile phones, they're full of zinc, they're full of steel, full of other metals. You talk about plates, forks, knives, they're steel again, mine from iron. Our plates are hardened clay. So every aspect of our life is related to the geology, the, the materials within the earth that we've been extracting from time immemorial effectively. But geology also in Ireland is it's inherently related to our heritage. Because we have the bedrock related to the subsoils and related to the soils, even the ecology of the country, the biodiversity across the country is related to the underlying rock when you drill down through the various layers. So in a place like this in Lencar, where you've got alkaline soils and subsoils, you'll have things like hazel flourishing, ash, that like alkaline soils. So the trees, the plants, the herbs, the flowers that grow on the ground within those soils are all related back to the bedrock. And that's one of the reasons why Leitrim County Council are conducting this study at the moment. This geological heritage audit will examine the best sites within County Leitrim that have been researched historically and that are known for their geological significance. And it will examine the state of them. Unfortunately, some geological heritage sites that we would visit, they may have a house built on them. They may be gone because the site itself has been quarried away. But it will examine the state of the site as it is currently, and it will also rank the importance of that site, whether it's a county geological site or potentially a geological natural heritage area that would be protected on a national level. As is, any site that's reckoned as part of the order to be important enough to be designated a county geological site will have a protective status associated with it. So if you've got a small quarry down around Manor Hamilton, there's some areas where you've got garnet, you've actually got gemstones within the rocks. If that is designated a county geological site and somebody wants to build a house on it, it may be quite difficult for that to actually happen. So there'll be a protection afforded to the geological heritage sites. And this is one of the benefits, not just for Leitrim County Council, but for the people of Leitrim, that they have a full record and a full knowledge of the current state of their geological heritage. And heritage is everything that we've inherited. As I mentioned, it's the biodiversity, the soils, the subsoils, farming practices, anything to do with how we have lived over the years in this country is part of our heritage. And that geological heritage will be well protected once this geological heritage audit is completed later this summer.
So we're now in North Leitrim, almost the northernmost portion of Leitrim. And we're looking at Truskmore Mountain in the distance with the, the mast on the top. When you look at a map of Leitrim, it's a very long county from south to north. It's a very narrow county in a sense, but there's a difference in terms of the topography within the county in that the northern half of Leitrim really is high upland plateau, just like the area that we're on now. The southern half of Leitrim are low hills, Drumlin Hills. And in the southern part of Leitrim, where you've got the Drumlins, you've got deep subsoils, the bedrock is generally deep below the surface, and you've got quite compact material within the Drumlins, meaning that the soils are quite shallow, oftentimes quite poorly drained because there's a lot of clay within the Drumlin subsoil also. But in North Leitrim, where we are now, the landscape is characterised by upland plateau, quite high plateau, with the odd cliff at the edges of the plateau like we see here around us, where the rock comes out of the surface, and then extensive blanket peats. And we're on the blanket peat here now, under our feet. And that peat is partially decomposed vegetation that just basically rots almost in situ, where it dies in the ground, doesn't decompose fully, and then stacks on top of each other over the years, all of this partially decomposed vegetation, welded together by lots of rainfall, lots of compaction by peat layers forming on top, and eventually you, f you get a deep peat forming. And in some places around us, the peat on top of this mountain, on this plateau, can be up to three metres deep. So you're talking 10 feet of peat in places on these mountains. Okay, so we're looking here at a face into the blanket peat. And that blanket peat, you know, we can see this here because it's at the edge of a, a small little road way across the top of the plateau here, um, up near Truskmore. But you can often see slices into the peat like this where people have cut the, the turf over the years for fuel. What's amazing about this peat is though, I mentioned that it forms from partially decomposed organic matter like plants that just partially rot and decay and then just form layers one on top of the other over time. But that process, in that process, the peat forms at about a millimetre a year. So when we're looking at a metre depth of peat like this, we're looking at a thousand years of peat formation just preserved in front of us. And you can actually cut into this peat, you can look at those layers, and almost like tree rings, you're actually seeing the record of the peat formation as you go down through the, the years and the centuries and the millennia in this part of North Leitrim. 